Welcome to my channel. I am Miss Golden Logs, and today I am bringing you another review slash first impressions. Um, I thought I'd film today because the sun is out, and I'm really enjoying the good weather. Like being a July baby, and from the West Indies, I do love it when the sun is out. So I thought I would film a first impressions today. So we shall get right into it. Now it is of skincare which is a bit different for me so I might include some clips of me actually doing the stuff but we'll do I'm just going to talk through the stuff that I've got where I've got it from first impressions of it and then yeah show how I use it so um, a little while ago I was watching a video on that 10 step Korean skincare which is supposed to be really good for you like really good for your skin and everything like that but 10 steps is a lot and I don't know a lot about skincare I've got my Michael Todd which I use as I said I've always got sensitive and um, oily skin so I try and not use too much products with, you know, smells or anything like that, with stuff like that in it, like any strong perfumes or anything like that, because I've got hay fever as well. So we're just trying to fight off all the elements and have nice clear skin. Thankfully my skin isn't too bad, I've never really had any spots or anything like that. My skin does break out if I eat too much sugar, so there's these sweets called Airheads Sours, honestly the plug like me and my brother buy them so much that they'll run out and then they'll have to restock for us it's that bad so anytime we go through that phase it's, it's too much but I'm trying to cut it out and slim down because I've got a festival to go to in summer so now that I've actually cut out most of my sugar my skin is actually a lot clearer at the moment now I did use the product that I'm going to talk about today last week which is why I'm doing this first impression because it's a week after this, so I can see what's happened. So when I ordered the stuff for my first impressions video with my makeup I also ordered this rebalancing collection. So it's got five things in it which I thought you know nice start off for you know as you said you've got your 10 step Korean so I thought five step we'll just sort of see what we've got in here and go from there. So we've got a rebalancing cleanser, rebalancing toner, rebalancing moisturizer, exfoliator and mask. So I thought five different things it came together I think it was about 20 pounds because it was on the sale so if we open the box I have opened the products but I'll do a little unboxing quickly for you. So um, when I first got it I did try out the mask just once so we've got here we've got the willow and willow bark and witch hazel mask so it comes in this and this is 95 milliliters yep then we've got the exfoliator as well which is also 95 milliliters we have the moisturizer which is 195 so it comes in all this sleek you know nice stone packaging which is quite cool we also have here the cleanser and then finally the toner as well so it's all pretty pretty good stuff um, all looks quite neat quite nice and things like that so um, the first thing I did when I got it because of my hair I hadn't washed it or deep washed it yet which all the sort of you know residue um, lint and everything like that builds up in my hair um, as I, I used to use a really thick gunky wax when I first started my dread so all that residue still washing out and things like that anything can get caught up in my hair so at that point I really needed to wash my hair wash my face so I used the mask and to my surprise instantly I did feel like my skin felt because all in here is mostly where I get most of my oil sometimes under my eyes and my eyebrows but it's always the center of my face and after I used it in the evening the next morning I used the cream as well I went straight to this cream and I did actually notice a different pretty instantly it doesn't last long but I think over time as I said depending on you know how much water I'm drinking if I'm eating unhealthy foods that all adds up towards it but it did actually work pretty good. so I was pleasantly surprised that the next day I did feel a difference with regards to how much oil I was you know producing because before I did order um, a cream from Avon which was like a, a normal sort of thick cream and for me it still left my skin oily I then ordered the light moisturizing gel and as much as I feel like it does make my skin less oily as soon as I put it on it feels like all in here where I get most of the oil it dries out so my skin feels dry before I then um, go throughout the day but then I feel like the oil I produce isn't as much so yeah it felt a bit weird so last Sunday I googled your 10 step Korean and I think I have with this kit which gives you five seven out of the 10 steps because you're supposed to as far as I read but double check you start off with 
a cleanser, which this comes with a cleanser, then a foaming cleanser. My favourite foaming cleanser is the Natural Avon one. So I went in with a cleanser, washed my face, went in with a foaming cleanser, washed afterwards. Then I do believe it is the exfoliator that is next, which is this one. So I exfoliated. Then I believe it is toner. Then oil, which I can't remember where, but we've got this Optimal Skin Pro Serum Revitalizing Oil, which I was a bit nervous about because adding oil to oily skin, for me that just that sounds weird, but I added the oil and then after that I did the moisturizer. So I am missing a couple of steps because I think you're supposed to do face mask and under eye mask, which I didn't have, but I felt like with the products I had, I had a pretty good start, so it's not quite your 10 step, but it was still pretty good. and. A week later I feel like my skin actually has noticed a change. I'm going to do it again this Sunday and keep doing it every week so then I could possibly do a review sort of six months to see how my skin feels from there. But from what I've noticed so far over the week I've just been washing my face every day with a facial cleanser, with a foaming cleanser, going in with my Michael Todd to make sure we're getting all sorts of dirt and grime out and then using the cream that it came with which with this box set you can buy the products individually as well. But yeah I've it's been actually I've been presently surprised, like, I'm actually in shock, like, it has actually helped with regards to the oil. I did wash my hair and do a deep clean last week, which I might put up a video for, so you can see what comes out of my hair. I'm still not too sure about that on a deep clean, which I do sort of once quarterly. But yeah, um, as I said, depending on that, the amount of sugar and stuff like that, there's a lot of factors that go into how much oil I produce, but the products themselves did actually work so for 20 quid I didn't think that was too bad as I said a starter kit for as I said your 10 step Korean um what is it Korean beauty I thought it was pretty good so um yeah because today's Sunday I'm gonna go through and do everything again today so I'll use the um, first cleanser use the second cleanser exfoliate toner and do the rest of it so I thought I'd do a quick um preview of sort of what I do with regards to the products and then you know the results afterwards so yeah we're just gonna show you how I use the products and then go from there okay so the first thing I did is I take my Michael Todd with the small facial brush okay I then dampen my face oh in there I dampened my face first So my face is all nice and damp. Then after I've dampened my face, I take the first oil base cleanser and I do one pump with that. And then from there I go in all over my face. And then what I do is I take my Michael Todd and just help work that in all over my face. As you can see I had some makeup on earlier. And then because it's an oil based cleanser you don't really see a lot of the product on your face either so um which is weird for me because i only really use soapy cleansers rather than this type of cleanser but yeah so i go in with that first and then rinse off rinse it off afterwards which it doesn't take a lot to do. I then dry my face with a towel. I'm not sure if you're supposed to dry it in between, but in between steps I dry my face. So I dry my face and go straight in with step number two. As I said, I'm not sure if you're supposed to leave 10, 15 minutes or go straight in. So I took the facial cleanser, did two pumps with my foaming cleanser and I go in with this straight afterwards. And again, I work it into my face. So, as you can see, I'm just working it into my face with my hands. And then again, I take my Michael Todd brush and I just go in and cleanse that out.
and go in at step number two. And the good thing about this is I do feel like with the brush it does help a lot and it does clean my skin like since I've started using this on my face I have not looked back. Okay. And then again just wash off the brush head. And then I just rinse off my face. And again in between I just towel dry, just taking all the excess water off my face. I don't go in really hard and dry off all my face, so my face is still a little bit damp, but I just towel dry in between. And then the final step is the exfoliator, which looks like this on the inside, so you can see all the, uh, all the beads, so I just take little handful, I think this might be a bit too much, put a little bit back, I'm not trying to take all my skin off, just the dead skin cells, I put this in between my two hands and go in, and this I like to massage into my face, and just work it around. making sure that I could feel all the little uh, exfoliating beads massaging all around my face and then with this step I usually just wash it off with my hands that's what I did last week I didn't use my brush for it I just gently go in because you've still got all the beads on your face and I just run down And then again, I just towel dry and pat dry my face very gently. After those three steps. Okay, so no, now that I've done those three steps, I then go in with the toner, the oil and the cream. So what I do is I just take a cotton wool, just any cheap one. And go and shake it up a bit first yeah and I put a little bit on the cotton pad and I just go in all over my face so if you were wondering why in this video I was in my dressing gown it's not because Sunday is my day off and I don't plan doing anything not even leaving the house because I made sure I bought my stuff to make salads for the week yesterday it's actually because of this is a skincare video. And then this step, as I said, because it worked last week, I'm going to do it again this week. So what I did is the, oh, actually, let's let this dry first. And the good thing about this company as well, which seemed quite cool, is they have um, a whole range of products. So they have from hydrating to calming, rebalancing, eyes, facial specifiers and massage and then body stuff. They even have waxing stuff as well. I don't know if it's all on the uh, website but they do have a whole list of um, sets that you can get for, you know, depending on your skin type which is quite cool whether it's, you know, oily and um, combination and I think as well it does say on the website, you know, what one they suggest whether you've got oily skin or anything like that which is quite cool. But yeah, as I said, we're giving it a go. So first impressions, it's really good. So far, I can feel, I feel like all the dirt and everything has come off my skin. Like, I do feel that we're at sort of a nice natural base. So now that it's all dried, take the oil. 
and literally next to nothing in it because I said oily skin this just seems a bit weird for me to put oil on my oily skin but I just go in just drag a little bit all around literally not a lot at all and I take another one I just run that all over my skin I use this oil a lot actually when um I first burnt my lips with regards to them healing because they were just dry and peeling all the time and the oil actually really did help with that and as I said barely anything in the oil like there's barely anything on on the um on the pad the cotton wool because we really don't like going in too tough with oil so I just make sure that's all Or even so yeah as I said from the uh, Korean beauty I'm missing a few steps which could be vital I think they help add replace things and then with the cream finally adding moisturizer I think with Korean beauty as well I think a big part of it is SPF which with as the Sun's come out I am missing that from my step because I don't think the moisturizer has SPF in it but I have ordered a face cream because I know sun damage as well to your skin is not the one but yeah that is it um as I said my skin feels really nice and really soft um with the Michael Todd my skin has always felt really good anyway but I think this definitely helps with regards to my oil control on my face my skin feels nice and smooth so yeah um as I said, first impressions, it's really good. This is the second time that I've done this. I'm going to keep trying it and do it in sort of a month or so just to see, you know, how I feel about it. So I might do an updated review. I'm not sure if I do a video or if I'll put it on, you know, either my Instagram or Twitter. So if you subscribe and follow me on those, they should be in my banner on my channel as well. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. something a little different. Um, I've got a couple of different things that I want to try out as well on my channel. So we're just going to see what might work, what might not, what people prefer to see um as well so if you follow me on instagram i will put a poll up possibly on wednesday just yes or no for different answers so yeah no you know if you'd prefer to see more of something or less of something more reviews or more makeup or more cosplays or things like that then we can put that up might possibly be doing some gaming as well um if you haven't already check me out on super ninja's channel we were playing paladins the other day i really am enjoying that game so uh yeah we might do some streaming of that starting from a novice and see how far we get you never know but thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you on my next video